Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a pseudo unboxing video because I've already opened the box, checked it out, worked on it and decided that it's a win, yay! So I boxed it all back up so you can see it as I got it and it will be a surprise for you and it will be a thrill for me because I can take the wrapping off, which I haven't done yet. But before I get to what's in the box, I wanna show you what I'm going to be giving away for my 4,000 subscriber giveaway. I didn't really plan on doing this and it really snuck up on me. I can't believe it, but I have almost 4,000 subscribers in pretty much a year. I think I started January 8th of 2021. That's my rough estimate. So in just a hair over a year, I'm going to hit 4,000 subscribers and it's all because of you. Thank you so much. So to give back, I wanted to offer up this beautiful Simbono Amelia bag as a giveaway. And I paired it with this gorgeous chain. And this is from Nana Store 2018. It's sort of reminiscent of Louis Vuitton because it does have the floors stamped into the hardware, but the gold hardware paired with this bag so beautifully, I thought I would include it so you can glam it up if you like. Now this Simbono bag is made out of a mock croc vegan leather and the quality is really nice in my opinion. I just have too many ivory bags so I'm not using it. It has a shoulder strap that you hook on to the rings on the side should you want to have a vegan leather strap instead of the chain strap or you can just pair it with both. You can have the vegan leather strap on your shoulder and the chain strap dangling. How about that? So this is the giveaway that I'm going to offer. If you look inside, it has a microfiber lining and then a slip pocket for your credit cards or receipt. This bag is little but mighty. She holds a lot, really, and is so versatile with the shade of ivory that it just goes with almost anything you want to pair it with. So to enter the competition, what I want you to do is put the heart emoji down in the description box and you can select whatever color heart you want, express yourself. And after the heart, I would like for you to write the type of video that I do that you like the best. So options might include a fashion haul, a makeup video, a skin video, hair video, handbag video, handbag shopping video, unboxing video, Whatever type of video that I do that you like the best, put that down in the description box so that I know which one is the favorite that I can do more of. So that's all you gotta do to enter. My youngest son will pick the winner. I'll reply back to your comment and say, you won. And then all you would have to do is reach out to me on Instagram or through my email. But I wanna get to the exciting part of the day because I've got my clothes and my jewelry selected so that I kinda match what's in this box. So you might say, what's in the box? And I will say, let's check it out. I have to kind of carefully open it as to not show my address. So when you get a package from Matches Fashion, it comes wrapped beautifully like this. There's an invoice right here at the top and it has the return label. So returns are super easy. Now, what I did the other night is I was sitting on my couch and I reached out to Shaney with Jessa Lux or Jessa Closet, depending on whether you're looking at Instagram or Facebook, and just said to her that I was curious about reordering and she just reordered it for me. Matches hasn't even got the one that I sent back, but I guess she put her trust in me and reordered it for me, mailed it to my house. That was Wednesday night and I received it yesterday. That's why I went ahead and opened it because since I had problems the first time around with the Matches Fashion purchase that I made with Shaney recently, I wanted to go ahead and double check before I did the unboxing so I didn't have two unboxing fails to show you right in a row. So as you can see, it is a Gucci bag. Let's take her out of the box, discard the box, and open it up. Now, upon opening this bag, I did have another issue, but I think I got it fixed good enough that I will love the bag. This is the Gucci Marmont shoulder bag, and many call it the Gucci Marmont camera bag. And it is from the Area Collection in the color 
According to Matches, it's a blue-gray. It does have some blue undertones. I showed that in my first video where I had my unboxing fail. I showed it compared to a lot of different grays in my collection. I can link that video down in the box so you can see it. But this one, it does have just a little bit of that creasing like I had on the first one, but it is very minor compared to that one. Let me pop a picture of the first one in right here. So that was the first one, and you can see that this one is so much better. When I got this one, it did have wrinkling. And I basically massaged it with some leather conditioner, as well as did a little bit of steam on it. And I got it to this point. Now you don't wanna apply the steam directly to the leather. You do it through a cloth and it's sort of at your own risk, but I really wanted the bag. And so this is what I have. And I think it looks pretty darn good. I think that when I reach into the bag to open it, I'm gonna put creases in that spot naturally. So I can live with just a little bit of that. The bottom on this one is completely smooth. The back is completely smooth. And on the other one, I had a little bit right there of wrinkling or not really wrinkling, creasing. So this one is in much better condition. So let's go ahead and peel off the sticker. Also, if you look at the top, one thing with these bags you wanna watch out for is you wanna make sure that there's a good amount of space on either side of the zipper. I had one in Porcelain Rose a long time ago and it was flaking off at the zipper because the zipper had rubbed against the edge. So this one does have some good clearance around the edges to protect that glazing and also just the color right there along the very edge is what was flaking off. So let's take off the strap wrap. So you guys, this is an unboxing because, or it's an unwrapping. I mean, we can call it an unwrapping. Now look at this. I love, love, love that they did it this way. They did not put the strap through the hole. And that means that I get to be the first one to select which hole the peg goes into. And by doing that, they make it so where it's not stretched out on the wrong one or dented or creased. Why don't more brands do that? Getting the peg in the hole was no easy feat, but I accomplished it. And I put it at that setting because it's a relatively long strap for me and I want not too much tail at the end to get curled out. And so that's where I set it pretty much right in the middle. So here is this gorgeous bag, I tried on my body and looking at it now, it looks even better in terms of that creasing right there. You just really can't see it. Unlike that first one, I could see it. This is, this is good. I'm loving it. Oh my goodness, guys. So let me grab something. So I just so happened to have a spare Gucci Marmot bag organizer laying around, and this one came from SUNY Bag and Bag. I had gotten several of these made for my Coach Soft Tabbies, and they work really well, but since then, Green Tag Inserts has a custom insert for the soft tabby. I can link them down below with a discount code. So I had a couple extra of the Gucci Marmont shoulder bag inserts, which is what this bag is. And so I'm gonna go ahead and take out the stuffing and then put this in there and show you how it looks. I also have a base shaper on the way from M Boutique Australia. And I'm excited to show that to you as well. They're sending it to me complimentary because I am showing them to you, but I have M Boutique inserts in so many of my bags that I've purchased on my own. They are wonderful. So here's the tag that I got from Matches Fashion. I always keep all this, but it came unattached. This was priced at $16.50 and the price that you can get it from, from Shaney, at least right now. I mean, there may be a price increase. I believe it's $13.89. So you get almost $300 off by ordering through a personal shopper versus going to matches.com directly. On the inside, there is this luscious microsuede. It feels so good, much like the Louis Vuitton microsuede. 
and then you get these Gucci booklets in a couple languages, it looks like. And that's it. That's a wrap. There's nothing else in there. So I like an insert in these bags because it protects that lining. But I also like a base shaper because if you look at these on the Relove Market or Pre-Love Market, they sag real bad at the bottom. But by using a base shaper and or an organizer, depending on if you're an organizer person, you basically protect that lining on the inside of the bag and give yourself some extra pockets. So I'm super pumped that I already have one and I don't have to wait. And I can't wait to show you the base shaper. On my brown one, I just used the base shaper until recently when I had a spare one of these organizers and then I popped the organizer in and love it even more because as you use it, this kind of caves in on the top a little and the organizer spreads it out this way. So you're getting kind of double protection for the shape of your bag. Maybe a bit overkill, but you know, I like to protect my beauties. So I think I love it. I really do. I mean, it's fabulous. I think I'm going to move into it. I do need to spray it first though with Colonel Carbon Pro. And so I'm going to do that, let it dry, and possibly she'll make her maiden voyage today. We have exciting plans. We're going to sit on the couch for most of the day, and I'm going to take my son to a birthday party and pick him up. So she'll get to go do that, and it'll be so exciting. I might also stop at the Dollar General and get rolls. That would be a special treat if I decided to do that. I thought I was all done, but I forgot. I have other things to show you. So this bag has this little bit of an issue right here with the creasing. And again, I think as I get in and out of the bag that that would have happened anyway. Just see my hand, if I'm opening it, my fingers go to that spot. So that's part of the reason why I'm okay with just some minor imperfection right there. I didn't want major imperfection, let's be real, but a little bit's okay, especially because I love the bag. I saw one on Instagram that also had a little bit of this, and this is my second one that has some of this, and it's definitely better than the first. So it got me thinking, have I ever had trouble with a certain color of bag? Because when I got my studio bag from Coach, the chalk one came, and I got a couple chalk ones because chalk has its own issues with little specks from the glazing and stuff like that, or spots where the color doesn't take. But when I got the chalk one, I didn't have any issues with dimpling. But when I got the gray one, I had to go through a couple to find the one that didn't have it. I ended up getting this one from a gal on Facebook. Sometimes it's best to get one from somebody on the Relove market, even, I mean, this was new. That way you can see the actual pictures of what you're getting. So this one just had some slight dimpling right here. It just isn't quite as nice as the chalk one to the left of that C. And I wondered, is that because it's gray? Because I had tried to order this a couple times and just sent it back. It was one of those things I didn't tell you about, a quietly returned bag. I forgot to mention that one in the video that I did. But I had gotten a couple of these and just returned them to Coach because the dimpling was so bad right here. And so when I saw this one available from a Facebook friend through a coach group, I went ahead and jumped on it because it was the best one that I had seen. So I wondered, could it be because it's gray? I mean, surely gray leather is not harder to work with, but is that a possibility? So another one of my smooth leather bags I have is my St. Laurent Small Lulu. And when I got this bag, I actually had to get three of them before I got this one because of the way they packed it. There were dents in the leather. And I thought, I wonder if there were dents, you know, not just because they packed it poorly, but because it's gray. This one, when I got it, it was factory wrapped pristine, but it still had this dimple here, which is really, really minor, but it's something that I noticed when I opened the bag. And at that point, it was my third one. And much like this Gucci bag, I was like, it's good enough. And I love this. So I'm totally okay with it. And I can't expect perfection. It is leather. It is a skin. Skin has stuff happen to it. Heck, I've got like a scratch or two on me right now. So this bag had a tiny issue. The only gray bags that I really haven't had issues with are the ones that have texture, like my Prada Safiano Re-Edition, and like the Coach Cassie with the pebbled leather. 
So perhaps the gray dye on the smooth leather just makes it harder to quilt it and get everything all smooth. I don't know. It's just something that occurred to me and I'm like, could this be a possibility? Have you guys had any problems with gray smooth leather and not being able to get a bag that meets your standards of perfection? One more quick thing. If you look here at the bottom of this Cassie 19, it is in granite and you can see the color is so, so similar to this area quilted Gucci Marmot shoulder bag in the blue gray color. While the Heather Gray has much fewer blue undertones. I have found though that when I held this bag up to some of my clothing, like my Heather Gray clothing, it looks amazing. Let me show you. Take for instance, these Zella joggers from Nordstrom. I really think that this bag looks great with these as well as a lot of my other gray clothing. So I am super excited to put some different loungewear on to try it out. But if you look right now today, I think it looks pretty awesome with what I'm wearing. It's a pop of non-color. So if you enjoyed this video, this pseudo unboxing and ramble that I went on, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at the handbag housewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.